well done, guys. Thank you. Honestly, Thank you. I know you're going to be hearing this all day, and it's it's completely deserved. I mean, I think what I loved about this the most is that it it was actually a simple story. Yes. But just totally brutal, you know? Um, is that, I mean, I know it wasn't simple to put together, but you, you make it seem like it's sort of a very <laughs> bone simple situation. For bad sure. people doing bad things. I mean, this is about, I mean, this concept is about as high concept as I get. But like, I want to explore environments and really mine them for all their potential. And yeah, I reference films like Straw Dogs or uh, Assault on Precinct 13, where the, you could argue the plot might be thin, but the cinematic cinematic experience is is very fulfilling, very rich, very textured. Um, and I just currently don't get turned on by artificiality, any false notes. And I think a lot of films out there, I, I don't. Especially horror movies, they can just yeah. tend to get too convoluted. Yeah, and, and they're contrived, and just the way they're executed. This is, this is a, a, a brass tacks movie, this is a blunt force movie, but it has real effect on the audience. I mean, it, it People are, are sitting there like their nails are destroying, you know, the sides of chairs and theaters, and they're watching through their fingers, and it's really fun to elicit that that involuntary response from people, and that's what it's about. It's like is bypassing the intellect and yeah. getting right to the heart and the gut. <laughs> Absolutely, shotgun blasts to the face while there's talking mid sense Always just the whole audience is like, <gasps> oh yeah. You know? How did you guys bond as a punk rock band? What was the what was the sort of thing that the four of you guys? <clears throat> well, you know, Ali and I uh, knew each other from uh, we'd been friends for about a year at that point, um, <clears throat> and she's just the best. I mean, that's pretty much all you can say about Ali. Uh, the whole cast is kind of, um, and. Uh, Really, what I was really looking forward to is rehearsing the songs that we had to rehearse because I I knew from experience that when you, you guys play, are punk rockers, right? Right. Well, well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a punk rocker, but I played in like a kind of a crusty garage punk band. But I just know that when you get together and you make music, it doesn't matter how good you are. Literally, when you get together, it doesn't matter what you play, and you share that with one another, and you share creativity in that way. Something happens, and. The fact that we had the rehearsal time, by the time that Callum, Callum came a little later, Joe, Alia, and, and I were like a unit, you know? I yeah. remember the day we met Callum, we had just walked to Subway into the liquor store and got like pretzels and Subway and Astoria in Oregon. And we felt so comfortable with one another because we had at that point been playing music for a few days and getting to know one another. And part of it is being frustrated with not being able to nail the songs together. And there's a kind of... <laughs> camaraderie that grows and from then on from like day two or three of rehearsal we were just tight we hung out every weekend all of the madness of being on set during the day during the weekend we just had a great time together we went to movies went to record shops and we just felt I feel so good about it. I feel so close to those guys they're, it also helps that they're all good people yeah you know they're lovely people so that helps if they're shitheads I don't know what I'd yeah. be saying right <laughs> now and let's talk about Patrick Stewart very quickly wow I mean... The big fish. <laughs> Landed him yeah, about Captain, 10 days Captain before we shot. and Professor X going, 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 going evil like that. It's just... And I was hearing you talk about it. I mean, he must have just been another presence that just kind of added to the, to the atmosphere of the set, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, the film, you know, for many reasons... <clears throat> first and foremost, because of the caliber of the actor that he is on stage and on screen... Um, benefits tremendously and and obviously Jeremy can speak to that more but I personally benefit from seeing someone that is so esteemed and seeing what a lovely human being they are how kind and respectful and what a sense of dignity they bring everywhere they go it's incredibly inspiring you just you, you realize that, that you know hopefully we're all moving to some kind of goal of being sort of if humans the best version of ourselves and when you meet someone like that on your journey that aids you inevitably plus you know working with them yeah. It aids your craft incredibly. You but, lucked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it, was a, it was a casting coup for this crazy punk rock movie. I mean, I was never aiming that high, but when he expressed interest, the answer was yes. Yeah. And I, didn't, I never asked him why, because I thought I might, put, if I even just floated that question to him, he might think about it twice. <laughs> so I was like, just get him to Oregon. Get him here. But yeah, he's, he's a very low impact arrival, though, because he's just an amazing actor. Yeah. He's, he's, he didn't bring Star Trek with him. He didn't bring the X-Men with him. He just brought his 
his, his, his acting self. And that was amazing because we worked on a very quiet performance, a subtle performance. Uh, so it wasn't like against type as far as his franchises. It was against type because he's the leader of a Nazi gang and he he's, has a certain amount of authority, but it is effortless. And it is, it is actually quite polite. And yeah, I mean, he was assured. a businessman. I mean, he was just getting taken care of business. Yeah, and that's disturbing.